All right, everybody, what's up? Um, I'm here with my good friend, Mukhe Lee Johnson. We're just going to talk about a few different things and hopefully give you some value. So we're just not going to waste any time and dive right into this. So I guess introduce yourself and what are you currently doing and, and all that good stuff. Yeah, definitely. Uh, so my name is Mukhe Lee Johnson and I'm a consultant. And right now my services focus on really brand development and reputation management. And I've been like in the whole digital marketing space for about three years now. Okay, awesome. And so once again, just diving right into this, um, how did you get started and how have things kind of changed and progressed from three years ago to now? Okay, yeah. So it's definitely been a long time, but really how I got started was um, I had a, my, both of my friends, uh, they're still my good friends today. They were both videographers and photographers. And what we would do is we would like just reach out to the people that we knew because we were really in like networks on campus. I had like an entrepreneurship club that I started and we would work with people and just do like content creation, digital marketing. And then like my services like progress from that to like lead gen for a while, for a long while. Um, and then to like where we are now, like where it's like just brand development, like the concepts, mindset, and just all that good stuff now. Totally. And so like with, with all the things that you've seen and, and whatnot from then and who you've worked with, there's one main topic that I kind of want to cover today for everyone is how that in my experience, and I'm sure in Muke's experience as well, there's a lot of people that say they are offering value, but really they're not. And in my opinion, if in most businesses, you either need to be offering real, tangible, massive value. And like, I think value is just a word that's always just thrown around, but I think it needs to have more weight to it because it should be more in ideally profit because at the end of the day, that's what matters. I guess, what are your thoughts on that? And just what are your thoughts on that? Yeah. Uh, man, it's like, you're, you're spot on because the market's really congested with a lot of people saying the same thing. And sometimes it's hard for whoever your market is to really decide who's valuable and who they want to work with because they've been like burned by so many marketing companies that they're turned off by the idea of it. Um, but I think kind of true value now is like initially solving something for someone like a potential client. And that's, that can be before, you know, you, you, you agree like, that could be like before you do like a strategy session or like you, before you even do work. Like if you have content that you give someone and they can apply it and it helps them to like generate profit or if it helps them like in any way, then it's like valuable. So like giving someone information or like a template or something that they can implement right away is what's going to really set you apart, in my opinion, especially now. Yeah, I I totally agree. That, that that's a really good point. Just totally agree, spot on. Um, and so with that, like, I know I've encountered a ton of different issues, like with that problem where people have been shot down or just completely turned off with the idea. And there's a ton of other problems we both encountered. So when you were faced with different doubts and opposition and problems, how did you confront them, deal with them, and just move past them? And have you evolved the way that you've dealt with them? Oh uh, man, I'm not gonna lie. Like initially, when the when the when the crap would come, when the storm would come, uh, it, it was it was tough dealing with it because you know you have no idea what you're doing. So like me personally, I'm the kind of person like I like I distract myself like when like, back in college, I test or whatever, and then like walk out with like a C. Like as long as I passed, like. And I was happy, but I didn't want to do the same thing with like business. I want to take it seriously because I understood like the better results I get for people, the better like it would be for me in the long run and my clients. And I, like that's kind of like how I am now. It's like I will put like all the energy and everything. So like when it comes to like learning from your mistakes and learning from experiences, um, it's really good to just go for it. And it's like you're you're definitely someone who like taught me that because like just going for it and like learning from the mistakes really helps you to just be like okay like i got my feet wet 
now I know what to do. And when you have like a healthy mindset, like definitely my mindset has evolved a lot because I've like been through a lot. I'm sure you have too. Like our mindset has evolved to where it's like, you know, we can start campaign off and it's not like going well. I'm not going to lose my shit because like we're all getting, we're just getting, and we're going to use that to optimize the campaign versus like if I was like, if I started like a while back, I got my first client, like book ads and I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to freak the freak out. <clears throat> totally. Awesome. Cool. Cool. Um, and so when you did first get success, um, no matter how it was, I guess, how did that feel? And also, I guess on the flip side, I guess you kind of already answered this too. How did you handle a really, really big like failure in your business? And how did you bounce back from that? Okay. Um, so it's strange because even with like success, like if we reach like a certain milestone in a campaign, like the, like the very first time I reached success, knowing you're wrong, I was happy, like from closing and then to actually providing value. Like I was like, okay, like I've actually done something. And that kind of gave me certainty, like I can do something for somebody. Cause if I couldn't do it, if I, if I like, if I can't do something for someone, I can't provide value, I can't solve a problem. I'm not gonna last long. So like just learning from like a small success and how to make it better, that's really the biggest thing. But like, even if I was to make like a big success, like if I was to make a client like Tony K, like, I wouldn't even really think about it. I'll just be like, what's next? But like, kind of like the biggest failure I learned from was like last year. I think last year was like a big failure because I focused a lot more on just onboarding as many clients as I could versus on like actually producing good work. So like, I'll admit that like my work like took like a dip in like the quality because I was just too focused on like just getting stress in like sessions getting calls like selling and like now that I took like a like a step back this year and really focused on service delivery like it's helped the business a lot more versus just like having like a full pipeline and just like talking to people over and over and over again definitely yeah I kind of agree with that even for myself um my service I think has gone up and it was definitely horrible um so I guess like I guess kind of like a yeah uh, well, I was going to say a two-parter, but never mind. Um, I guess what kind of a mindset, mindset shift, what mindset shift have you had starting to now or maybe even recently? And just overall mindset shifts are really significant ones or even maybe little small ones. What mindset shifts have you had that have really just helped? And also, what do you believe is a good mindset to have in your opinion? Okay. Well, this is definitely something like from when we worked together, I learned um, when we talked about really the mindset that it's just like an experiment. Like it's like a scientific, like, because you mentioned this before, like, it, like it's a scientific like experiment. Uh, and there's just steps that we have to take. There's different variables and things we have to test. But if we like cook, if we're cooking in the lab and we're mixing up different ingredients, we're going to get different results. And it's not like a thing where we should like we we you know we expect the unexpected and we prepare for that. Yeah. You know, there's gonna be good times, there's gonna be bad times, and just like incrementally like progressing, like the mindset to where like you're incrementally progressing to a goal is something I feel like is a good mindset to have. <clears throat> uh, what was the second question? Um, if you've you kind of answered both of them, but the one the first one was what kind of mindset shift have you had that has been positive? And then what do you think is a good mindset to have? So you kind of covered a little bit of both there. If you have anything else to add. Oh, okay. Um, a good mindset, I guess a good mindset shift to have is be grateful. Definitely. I think when you're like, when you're grateful for a lot of things, yeah, like, like, like gratefulness, like it, it's just, it, it calms you down. There's a lot of things you're grateful for. So like being grateful, like being grateful you have your first client, like being grateful you have experience, like being grateful you're able to work with someone, being grateful you're able to not work a nine to five, like stuff like that. It's just like every day is a blessing. Totally, definitely. 
And so um, I guess a little bit more specific with what I've been helping people with. So I have like a mentorship program and it's nothing crazy. It's nothing big, but I guess you've talked to a lot of people that do mentor people and you mentor people yourself. And I mean, you've helped me out a lot. I've helped you out a lot. And just on general, what's, what's been your opinion um, on like what I'm offering people or what I've helped you with, or just kind of in general, that, that whole kind of, even just in general, the whole mentorship kind of thing of entrepreneurship and there's an entrepreneurship mentor, I guess, what's your kind of opinion on that? And you can relate it to me or however you kind of want to do it. Everything's valuable with that. I mean, your, your program is, it's great. And it's definitely for people that just love taking action and love like getting the ball rolling. Like people who don't care about like, like what other people say, they have like a different mindset and they're ready to do the work. Like, I like how people who get in your program, they get started. They can like send out the, the messages that you tell them to do. And like in a matter of like a couple of days, they have like their first meeting. Like a very few like mentors like do all that. And like, that's something I really admire and respect, like just the velocity of it. And like how it's like, it's just like proven methods, like it, like things will work. Um, I know that there's a second part of the question, right? I don't want to miss it. Um, yeah, just if there's what ex, if there's any different experiences that because you've definitely been mentored by other, you have mentored and co- consulted other people. Um, I guess what's different with what you've seen from me, if there if there is anything different from me compared to anyone else, you kind of touched on it. But is there anything else that is the difference? Uh, yeah. So uh, practic- practicality. So like it's very practical, and a lot of that you don't see a lot of that. Unless it's like for like the like kind of higher level stuff, but making things practical, you know, it's not it's not easy. But you've definitely done a good job of just like taking processes and making it practical for like the average person. Just be like like I'm gonna send out emails, like, and we're just gonna keep on doing this. Like it's it's practical stuff, and people who go through the training can do it, and they can start seeing results. So that's what I see. That's like different from like a lot of other mentors cool yeah thank you awesome and so i guess just kind of like free-flowing topics and then we'll we'll end it off what um with i I guess like top experiences you've you've learned from and then on top of that kind of the whole the whole concept that you know value is just thrown around loosely how do you think people can go about solving that and i guess we can just kind of bounce ideas off each other and maybe provide some value and then and kind of edit off with what what you want your future goals to look like. Okay. So how can people provide value like better? Yeah, I, we, you kind of already touched on it by you know offering them some or giving them some kind of result before you even start working with them or whatever it is. But you know, I you know it's people that like I I talked to someone just recently and um, they were being screwed by people that were offering marketing and consulting and not even that just marketing and Facebook ads and. I think that that's a really big problem is people will see one thing and they'll, Oh, I do Facebook ads for dentists. I used to do it. And like mm-hmm. a lot of people, a lot of people do it. How do you think that people can just start off on that right foot and get that good foundation to, you know, differentiate from the beginning and not have the mistake of I do Facebook ads for dentists. Cause I know now for me, at least when I teach people, I tell them like, they ask me, Oh, what niche should I go with? It's like, okay, well, what do you like? list things out that you like research and just like find one for yourself. Like don't base it off anyone else. I guess what's your opinion on that? And do you have any, like anything with that? Oh yeah, definitely. I think, um, what you would like to definitely stand out, especially if you're starting, like, cause you mean like starting off, like no case studies, nothing, right? Like, Oh yeah. You just got like your back on you. <laughs> yeah. Um, Definitely one thing you want to do is just pick a group of people and like intensive research because like the more you, the more in-depth conversations you have and like you have to ask the right, you got to ask like the right questions. The more the right questions that you ask, the more you're going to know about them versus like your competition. Um, if you have case studies, you know, like don't sell yourself, have like your client sell you. So you can do like an interview like this where you ask specific questions and they talk about your actual service as well. 
and you can post that like on platforms like LinkedIn or whatever. A lot of people don't do that. And you'll be like, you'll already be like demolishing the competition, just having something like that. Oh, yeah. Totally. Um, those are like the two things I can think of. And that's why like, that's why like my online presence even isn't even that big because it's like, I'm just trying to build up like that credibility. Yeah. But um, you got to like do those things. Like just good foundation. Have, have a good, like have a good foundation. Always like give value. Always everything needs to be like helping someone. Like don't like don't talk about yourself. Be humble. Transparent for other people. Yeah. yeah. Be transparent. Yeah, that's a big one too. Just to add on like being transparent and just being like a hundred percent honest. I think it it pays dividends every time. Even if you know maybe even if it's not the right thing or you even it may not sound great or whatever it is. Just being honest, I think, is the best thing you can do in business. Like, yeah. I know a lot of people screw up with that big time, and I know I have before. So, mm-hmm. but I definitely say being honest is the best thing. Yeah, and it's weird because honesty is like this power. Like, honesty is leverage. Oh, it like, definitely. That's what I feel like. Like it is. Totally. Yeah. And like, oh, and one last thing I would do, like, even if especially if you're getting started, like, and if you have the time, because you might be in high school, or whatever, or college, like. Find someone to like either join up, like work with, like I work like working with you, definitely give me experience. Or just like find someone to do it like a small project, like for free or for really low. And then document that. Yeah. Because I mean that's just like that, that's that you're getting your feet wet and you know you're getting initial results. So that's as long as you're getting like as long as you're field testing things and sharing the results, keeping updates. I think you do. Yeah, no, I if if anyone's watching this and <clears throat> wants to reach out to either one of us. I know I'm, I'm glad to help out with any, I got a ton of little projects that I could use people's help with I'm not promising I'm going to pay you or anything, but just like Mukai said, it, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I know I didn't, I know a lot of stuff like I, I did what you're saying, but unknowingly I would just help as many people as I could. And even now with clients that I do have and new clients that I get, I just try to help them as much as I can. I'll just an example. I was talking about, um, to you about this right before we talked about this is if anyone knows the new Corvette just like got unveiled and it's like undercutting the entire market and sure they may not sell the most expensive or fanciest thing or the nicest or the best thing either, but they're going to undercut the entire market and you know, they're offering value like genuine value, not just BS value that people are throwing against the wall. It's, it's genuine value for what you're getting. And that's kind of like my goal. And I'm sure it's Mukay's goal as well to try to be that in this, kind of like that same way we're undercutting the market sure maybe we're not not this is actually something too just kind of off topic but same time on topic one of my mentees got a message from someone dude and they uh they said hey you're you're offering way too little for your services like see i just got paid 3500 you should be charging more than 1500 or a thousand random guy and like i don't even know how the guy said that but i guess what's your what's your opinion on that so your mentee was charging low. Someone found out about what he's charging and messaged him. I guess here, let me, let me pull this up real quick. Um, I don't like, I don't want to mess up this situation. Yeah. So he said, Hey guys, I have no idea how this one guy has found out what I was charging, but he sent me this message. Uh, in the message, the person says, yo, just want to give you some value, bro. For med spas, I would charge them anywhere between three to $5,000, especially for these treatments. My clients easily pay 3500 And then he sends some screenshot of an invoice and he says, don't undervalue your services. And then he says, oh, and this was for this service. So I don't know if he even knows how much my mentee is charging, but you know, I tell my mentees, if you have zero experience, zero nothing, a thousand to 1500, that, that, that's a good starting point. In my opinion, you know, I, I tell them you can charge what they want. In my opinion, if they're offering pretty similar what I'm offering, a thousand to 1500 is, is a good starting point with 500 going to ads and 500 going to your service or you know if they're doing something that you're doing it could be a little bit different obviously but that's what i say so that was a conversation of i feel like that'd be something good to touch on maybe yeah I mean, i'm always gonna say charge higher too so i mean i agree with that guy i don't think yeah. he's doing like douche or whatever yeah but um because what you can do is you can charge higher and then you can contract it out to someone and then like now you can see what that person is doing so i mean that's what i would do like totally there's always like a, you know, not a loophole, but there, you know, there's, there's, you know, there's, there's, there's a solution. You can make things work yeah. for you. There's always two sides if, to the coin. Yeah. yeah. And even if they're charging like a thousand, like there's talent you can find for a good price. So, 
I mean, yeah, like I would, I would do, like go for it. Like charge as high as you want. Yeah. And it's then like, business. yeah, it's your business. Charge as high as you want. Totally. Your, your time is valuable. And then like work with someone who's really like an expert. Learn from them. Yeah. Totally. Awesome. <laughs> cool. Well, I guess what, what kind of future goals and vision do you kind of have? And then if there's any final topics you want to talk about or touch on, we can wrap it up. Um, so future goals, really, I just continue saving and leaving, um, moving somewhere else. I need a change of environment. Totally. Um, besides the agency, whatever, like just keeping growing that. Um, and just personal development. So like focusing on health, being a better person, all that stuff. So definitely awesome. All the good stuff. Oh yeah. What about you? Um, I guess for me too, um, I'd like a change of environment here soon. Um, I think that's a big one. Also just, I want to help and have an impact on as many people as I can, like have a true impact on them. Um, I've been looking to try talk at like my old high school, even if it was just in a small classroom, just to see how it goes. Um, so I kind of, I kind of want to look at that. And then um, also just helping and giving people real profit and real value and, you know, solving, solving the problems that people have. And then on top of that, just working on myself, making sure that I'm constantly being a better person and just looking like tracking myself in a sense and pretty much everything. And just, yeah. And just getting better at everything, health, all of it. Yeah, totally. That's the key to happiness. Oh yeah. No amount of money will make you, make you happy. So, but money, money can help. Definitely. Money is definitely important, but it's awesome. Yeah, no, I know a lot of people will say like, oh yeah, money's not the key to happiness. Okay, maybe not, but money will definitely, it can make you happy, I think. Make you comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it'll make yeah. you comfortable. That's a good way to put it, definitely. Um, other than that, do we have anything else to kind of touch on? Um, if, if not, we're, we're going to try, I, I was thinking at least we can try to make these some weekly or once every other week thing, we can cover a, a bigger topic and go a little bit more in depth with this. But if you guys Definitely. are liking them, yeah. Yeah. I can't think of anything else. I think this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I did enjoy it. Totally. Me too. Cool, man. Well, with that being said, hope everyone enjoyed this and got something out of it. And um, if you have any questions, reach out to Luke. I'll put his information below and you can reach out to me if you want to as well. And hopefully we'll, we'll record another video and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for having me, bro. Cool. Yeah, thanks for talking, man.